that vehicle is simulating an off the highway wreck, bad rollover up into an embankment or something like that, a wall that we can't work around. And obviously it's gonna to be tough to work in there. So we're gonna show you guys how to make some space with the grip hoist. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that vehicle up to on its side while simultaneously putting down two Rescue 42 struts to hold it there, okay? We're gonna have a little safety built in with another ratchet as a back tie, and then we're gonna do a uh, roof removal and uh, a dash lift once we get it stable. We're gonna go over the grip hoist with you. This particular grip hoist is about a 4,000 two-ton grip hoist. Um, it basically works as if the same maneuver that you're gonna do to lower it is gonna be the same maneuver you are gonna to be to take tension on the system. The difference is, are you gonna put the handle on this side or are you gonna put the handle on this side? The fact that this handle is bigger, if you look at the two of them, okay, means that that is the side that will pull tension. The thinner one is the one that will release tension. That's the best way to know what you're doing with. But in order to start that process, you have to feed the cable through. As you can tell, as I try to feed the cable through, it gets stuck because it's not in free spool. Put it in free spool, we have to take a little bit of tension off of this handle. You guys can see the pin over here on this side, okay? I will then take a little tension, I'll push the pin in just like that, pull that all the way up, hold it, release my finger from the pin, that will keep it in free spool, bring it back to the way I want it to, spool that all the way through. When I'm ready to lock it into place would be when I've taken all of the slack out of the system because we have so much slack here, I don't want to sit here and try to work this slack through like this. I'd rather just pull it through. So pull it through to where you think you want to be, where you want to be. Then you got to take it and put it into actual functioning mode, which is going to be pull back on this handle, push your button back in, the tab, let it down. As you let it down, just make sure your fingers are clear and then release your tab. Now, you have a little notch there. We have this little tiny nipple right there, okay? As you stick it on there, make sure that notch is going right inside that nipple and then rotate so it doesn't come out. Now, if I want to release my tension, as you can see, it's releasing the tension. This is where my load is. It's bringing the load back down. If I want to bring it over, I'll do the same thing on the thicker spot. And now it's going to start bringing my load in. Does that make sense? Like when we go to anchor it, this is what you'll be anchoring it into. Um, and we'll be anchoring into those pylons.